all right we are back to you guys with another video and today the topic for today is remote id and we all know and we all have heard about remote id wait a minute no actually not all of us have heard of it some of us have no clue what it is actually and where to get one or how to get one or actually what is remote id and why do we need it and why don't we need it I did a small survey on my Instagram and if you're not following me on Instagram, just go ahead right now and do it. Um, so I ask you guys, how many of you fly drone? Surprisingly, 83% of you guys are drone pilots. 83% of you guys vote yes that you fly with drones and only 17% of you vote no. And the next one was how many of those 83% people knows about the remote ID? Surprisingly, only 62% of you guys know about the remote ID thing. So basically today is the topic and we will try to answer some of those questions. In short, the remote ID is literally a um, signal that your drone have to send so anyone with a cell phone around can detect there is a drone around there and that's it. Thanks for watching. See you for the next one. Wait, but if you really want to know more, stay tuned and stay around. Hang out with us. From 2024, every drone that comes out have to have built-in remote ID according to the European law. Uh, some drones have already have it built in where the drone by itself will just broadcast those information out. And if you don't have the remote ID built in your drone, you have to buy a third party uh, small device that you can place on top of the drone to be remote ID compliant. Pretty easy, pretty simple. No headaches really, don't even have to think about it. And if you have 20 drones or 40 or 50 or 100, you don't need that many remote ID devices. You only need one that is registered on your name, that has your details, and uh, yeah, you're good. That's that's basically it. For now, you have two types of remote ID. You have the network remote ID, and then you have the direct remote ID. Network remote ID, which is this one. So the network actually work with mobile network. So you can have basically unlimited range as long as you have cell phone coverage around. You can just basically have coverage on that. So this one has both the remote ID network and direct remote ID. So if you want to use it as a network base, you can do that. And if you don't, you can just use it as a regular direct remote ID. So it can run up to 14 hours and weigh, I think, 32 grams. You don't really need it. Uh, no, we don't need it. But this one, you do. Uh, it's pretty small. It's like 20, uh, 16 gram. And with a single charge, it lasts up to 16 hours. That's a lot. Uh, pop that in. You basically don't have to think about charging it again. You got it covered. How does it look? You're asking? Oops. Uh, it basically looks like that. It's a small cube. Tiny cube with a you know, USB-C port and only one button in it no two no confusion you push it you hold it it's on and you just have to wait until it gets some gps lock i don't know it just does it things you have three colors coming up it will change color as soon as it gets uh gps fix or whatever it does so yeah now it blank it blank purple uh actually blue or white i don't know yeah so now we're in flight so what you do is that you have your your drone and you have your beacon and you basically take it you double side of tape it up here and basically this drone is remote id compliant turn the drone on turn your controller on and you have to turn on the beacon and you turn it on by holding it for two seconds i think and uh yeah it's on and now if we go to i will just screen recording that just to you know to show you guys what's going on so yeah right now i, I see there is a there it says there is a it, there is an aircraft and uh if you go in 
you have all those information about the aircraft. And then if we go to the drone tag app, uh, here we can see there is a, those information. There is something happening here. Yep, so now everything is fine. Let's just take off and uh, see how it goes. Well, uh, apparently I'm flying, but I still don't have any information from from this if I'm on the flight or not. So let's just keep going further. And we have not a real time update, basically. It tells us that the drone is moving because now I think I'm at 75 meter away and here it says that I am okay 75 meter that's pretty accurate height I'm at 8.2 meters and it says here I'm at 7 meter with 5 close enough and head tracking uh, okay uh, what more does we get um, tell us the location um the height of takeoff it doesn't knows it so it's pretty you know it's pretty it's pretty nice actually so now technically that drone is remote id compliant so if anyone is passing by and they see hey there's a drone in the air you can just pull your phone up and uh check it out and you see who is flying where the drone is flying from oh it has the operator id so technically my id 300 meter away let's just wait here and see um, what does it says because here it detect me at 250 yeah let's turn around I'm at 300 meter 3280 to 250 And let's see here. Yeah, and I can see the drone coming back. All right, let's just land it. At 250 meter, I don't, I didn't hear the drone and I couldn't see it. Uh, I only saw the light blinking. So technically, if you notice the drone is because it's closer than 250 meters. If you can hear the drone and you wonder about what's going on, then you can just go to your app and check it out. And all your information are here. I have another video coming up about the drone tag BS that stands for basic solution. And uh, I will have a link down in the descriptions when that one came out and you guys can just go right there and check it out. And uh, for my case of use, I will just stick with the drone tag uh, beacon because this one is the lightest, the easiest to carry around, 16 grams, 16 hours of flight time. I can just move it from one quad to another one. Yeah, just to be with, you know, remote ID compliance, I would just use that one all the time. It was really fun to test out those uh, two remote IDs from uh, drone tag. If you guys want to purchase one of those drone tag, remote id i will have a link down in the descriptions and you guys can just go there and uh yeah buy one and uh fly safe stay safe have fun yeah thanks for watching and uh see you in the next one